the work we do in our laboratory of soft materials is trying to relate uh, the structure and properties of all kinds of materials which are soft, not very strong, relatively poor materials, but that you meet in daily life. Emulsions, foams, suspensions, in food products, but also in technological applications. And so here specifically we try to understand how structure and properties are linked. That's a very common thing for a material science and engineering program. Um, specifically, we try to understand how structure can be generated and how it generates properties. And so what Martin did here is to try to achieve this structuring in a replacement meat product with proteins and, and fat and collagen and having a hierarchical structure from a molecular scale all the way up to two millimeter scale. So there are currently technologies that use additive manufacturing or 3D printing to create these um, meat replacement steaks, um, but they are slow. You need to design the meat by software, you then need to print uh, and then decide where the protein phase and the fat phase go. And this is really a, a slow technique and it will always give you the same type of steak, which may be a bit unnatural. Martin developed a technique where he uses an extrusion-based device and relies on a flow instability and this is much more scalable. So he can really have a throughput that is orders of magnitude higher and that is of course important in a, having an economically viable uh, method. So that's basically the bottom line of why this will be a, a strong technology to, to compete with in the market. Yeah.